What up, what up, what up? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another edition of the Boxing Voice Radio. I am your host, Nesta Gibbs, joined alongside Ringwalk, Danny Ringwalk. What it do? What up, what up, what up, what up, man? Good morning. Good morning to the people. How you feeling, champ? I'm feeling good, man. I'm ready to rock and roll. We got a big day ahead of us. You know, hopefully we come out of our meeting this uh, morning. Morning. With some, uh, you know, good news that we can share with our lovely audience. And uh, we go into the evening with Rockman, and hopefully, you know, that turns into something that we've never done before. Um, but, yeah. Uh, That'll be uh, one this of- evening at 6.30. I, I, I say 6.45. I'll probably schedule it for 6.45. Jemmy, if you're listening, we need that thumbnail. Uh, you know, Hasim Rahman, media workout, live from the TBV headquarters, man. You know what I mean? Slash Five Stars facility. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, man. it is our headquarters. We ain't got yeah. no other place, yo. Yeah, this is our headquarters. You know, they gave sure. us lockers, and we got fucking a whole room that could be someone's office over there for our storage. So we're doing all right. I hope you're doing good this morning. We're here to talk some boxing. Tevin Farmer, Mickey Bay, back in action. Finally, this fight, something that we broke here on the show. One of the first big pieces of news that we broke here in Las Vegas uh, after getting, you know, TBV into a studio. Uh, Nonetheless, the fight goes from Dubai to Arizona, which makes it a little bit closer. I just don't know how far. Actually, I know that we have uh, the official press releases that I can read, so I'm going to pull those up. Um, just to not only and check then, the dates, but the also venue the venue. Yeah, yeah, so I could pull that address and, up. Uh, I got see the... how far it is because it is a fight that I wouldn't mind going to see if it's within, you know, my vicinity. You know, if it's yeah. within yeah, my I, area. I, I think we're talking about a four hour. Four hours only? You sure? Well, because I, I could do four. You know, a little mm-hmm. more than that, and I'm like, hold well, look, up, wait a minute. Give me the give me the name, and right now you're going to get the worst possible time because it's traffic time right now. Mm. So give me uh, a, yeah, let's see. So I got Tevin Far, uh, oh, wait, this is the old one. This is the old one. All right. I could have pulled up. I said move to Dubai. That ain't it no more. Well, it was originally in Accra, Ghana. And it was oh, moved. so it just keeps getting moved. Well, the um, Dubai thing was kind of out of their hand as the 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 like you know the head honcho died, mm. so the whole country shut down. Mm. You know, and they're not fluid, so they weren't able to pull strings in Abu Dhabi. But well now they're in arizona and i'm excited for it, y'all i just i was in philly was able to so they're gonna clash with in the finley toyota center in prescott arizona you were asking for it i give you the information now you want to cry like i don't get this guy bro anything to make me out to be some sort of bad guy because you are bro you a fucking dickhead yo, th- you this is this is yesterday's water you're looking at this water like yo Nah, that's another so day. So you just gonna leave it there regardless? It's gotta get put back in the fridge if you want me to like drink it. Bro, get get it out the way. Three hours fifty five minutes. You know what I'm saying? Right out right in between uh it's right outside of Phoenix, Arizona. Mm. You know, between Phoenix and Flagstaff. So, so three hours away. Yeah. Who's in Phoenix? No, Phoenix said, stand I said, up. I said three hours and fifty five minutes. So three hours away. Who's in Phoenix, Arizona? Stand up. We got one caller from Arizona. I can't think of his name, but it's one guy there for sure. No, nah, uh, Kendrick in Phoenix. There's a lot of people in Phoenix for sure. I ain't never for even sure, been to sure. Phoenix. And you know, you know who gonna be there? David Benavides. He gonna be there? Come on, man. Who fight? Who fighting over there again? Tevin Farmer and them. Uh, maybe, maybe you can't go to Phoenix and go to Benavidez town and like he ain't there, right? Mm. What you thinking? He don't even be there. They be in Washington. I know. I know. They be in Washington training. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. So it's like shit. It is what it is. Well, 
uh, undercard got uh, Chuck, Chuck on it. And um, Tremaine Williams as well. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. That's not a bad undercard. Man. No, no, no. I mean, it, it, it's good to see them still being able to put it together. You know? I thought for sure once uh, they lost Sprite, it was over. And uh, obviously that's not the case, which is a good thing. Definitely a good thing. But um, I haven't seen Mickey Bay, man. What 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 what's your thoughts on that? I haven't seen Mickey Bay. Where is he training? Have you heard anything? Yeah, no, he's been training out here. Where? I can't say. I'm not saying it like that. Excuse me, because I haven't been in anybody's gym. Even Bones texts me. Let me text Bones, man. Back. Let me see. Cause you know I ain't been. There's some gyms out here. I'm still like, uh... yeah. I know he was at Real Boxing. I've seen him up there. I don't know if he's uh, been anywhere else training, but I hit him up. Actually, um, Mickey Bay's an early boy, uh, early bird most of the time. So hopefully he hit us back. Yep. Yeah, man, they're missing us in the gyms. I appreciate it, man. Shout out to Bones that is checking in to see what's up. Yeah, shout out Coach Bones. Yeah, man. So, uh, yeah, man, um, I'm assuming that Mickey Bay and his brother... Uh, are the reason the truck is fighting on the undercard? Which What's your thoughts? No? Yeah. Yes, maybe? Yeah, perhaps. Obviously, you know, they had them on the card already. Mm-hmm. So it would make logical sense that, that that's probably how that came about. You know, they've had a relationship for a few years now, so. Where is... Uh, that's who I'm excited to see back in the ring. Too. Truck? Yeah, like I'm excited for the, for the Mickey Bates having Farmer fight. But I'm excited just to see Chuck back in action, for real. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'm glad that's part of this card. You know, because it kind of, it's everybody's coming back. Tevin's coming back. You know, Mickey's been out. Um, Truck been out, so. Tevin's been out. I mean, how long has it been, Almanac? Uh, that was January of 2020. Wow. Wow. Yeah, long like, time. Yeah, it was uh, Super Bowl week in Miami. So, uh, Bad Left Hook is saying nobody wants to broadcast this fight. That's why it's going to be live on redemptionpayperview.com. Hold on, say it again? Yeah, that no one wants to air this fight. That's crazy to me. You think it's no one wants to air it, or maybe they're asking for too much? What it, like? What are they asking as a broadcasting fear, you know what I mean? How much are they asking Showtime or DAZN for this? Um, because. Well, I think maybe they just wanted to do their own thing and. Uh, nah, come on. Come on. You get a site. You get you get a broadcaster fee. Like if, if Showtime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying, obviously, those um, may, opportunities may have not been there. So they doing their own thing with the pay-per-view. You know what I'm saying? Well, and that's what the writer is indicating. Um Patrick Stumberg is indicating that, uh, you know, nobody wanted to broadcast it. It'll air live on redemptionpayperview.com. What's the pay-per-view price? Um, Let's see. I'm looking it up. You said redemption. I'm clicking on oh. it. Uh, okay. It says 17 days till the fight. Okay. Uh, all right. So there's no immediate price. And uh, maybe it's like to be determined. Get your pay per view tickets here. What? Where are you watching the event from? What in the mug? 
Sounds a little complicated over there, chat. Uh, it is. I'm buying in the Americas. I mean, they don't have a one-click button? Okay. $29.99. Okay, $30. $30. Ain't bad, right? What you think, yeah. $30? Too much? $30, man. That ain't bad. No. I know them both, so I, I that's not bad for me. You know what I'm saying? It's probably not good for others because Louis Ortiz, Charles Martin was $30. How much that sell? That was also on New Year's Day, though. I'm just saying higher quality fight for 30 is all I'm saying. Mm. I feel that. I feel that. Um, but how much is a fight TV pay per view these days? Ain't it twenty nine as well too? When you got to nah, just depend. You got all type of shit. I it's, feel like I've paid twenty nine. Yeah, some shit. yeah, I've paid twenty nine on some shit. But I'm just saying it just depends on the event. They just needed to put a little more sexy on the card. Like again, we know Mickey Bay, we know Tevin Farmer, and we know Truck. It looked like the dude that beat Cunningham on the card, ain't he? Who, yeah. Is he? Yeah. Well, I know they signed him. Oh, yeah. I know they signed him. I think he's on that card, right? I know they did sign him. Mm hmm. That's interesting in itself um, because he, he was out there in the Philippines begging for an opportunity. And uh, that would be uh, amazing. I hope they get some publicity for that. You know, he was uh, he was basically stuck over there. Reached out to them, and uh, they signed them. And and now, look, he about to land on a nice little pay-per-view because this is not a bad card. That's why it was shocking to read, read what the writer wrote. I mean, And I'm assuming this writer, you know, did the due diligence and contacted some of these networks just to see mm -hmm. um, it, had they had any interest, which is it's just crazy to me. Who else... Out there, uh, yeah, maybe they should have talked to Pro Box. What the fuck, right? Mm. Have Tarver and them talk about this shit. Mm. This yeah. is right up Pro Box Alley too. They got Absolutely. they got something called um, Last Chance Tournament. Mm. Yeah, and you know I'm not saying this is a last chance for them, but they're definitely a crossroads fight. I at least could use that, you know, famous crossroads title. The guy that beat Cunningham is not on the card. Okay. Damn. So who's that dude this there? Is like IE or some shit like that? Mm. Cunningham got beat by Joseph Ambo. And oh, yes. Angel Contreras. No, Ambo. Ambo. It's Ambo did it. Mm. Big Fish Vega with a $2 soup chat this morning saying, Happy Born Day to the AJ of, tra of Trucking, Brandon Maurice. What up, Brandon? Happy birthday. Happy birthday, champ. Happy birthday. And then we got D-Style Boxing. Oh, shit. D-Style. What up, man? When you coming to the studio? Uh, he coming. Well, um, Dylan coming in a couple weeks. Dylan who? Ain't them. No, nah, I'm thinking of the wrong gym, huh? What are you talking who, about? Thinking about Dylan Price? Yeah, who D style? Them D boys, I think. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Dylan is D boys boxing. D boys. Okay. D Styles is a content creator on YouTube. Check him out at D Styles Boxing. Uh, yeah, man. He's where on he, YouTube. Where, where, he, where he from? Texas. Oh, wow. I think. Uh, I don't want to say San Antonio. Nah, that's cool. That's cool. Texas. I don't cool, think cool, it's cool, San Antonio. Cool. We well, said shout out to El Ness. <laughs> shout out, shout out. Yeah, 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 man. Um, so we got a lot of uh, stuff going on, man. We hoping that, you know, Earl and Bud, man, go ahead and announce this fight so we could go ahead and announce some things that we trying to do. Um, but don't forget, we're also doing our... Um, what is that called? It's not Cinco de Mayo. What's the what's the other Mex holiday? No, nah, it's Mexican Independence. Oh, okay, don't forget we're doing Mexican Independence Day. Canelo versus Triple G. Uh, Seventy five dollar raffle gets you a round trip flight and hotel stay. Plus, you get to watch the pay per view right here in our new studio. And uh, you know, hopefully, Bo uh, does a little shot 
maybe for Instagram. It looks so much brighter now with the with the uh, rest of the sound. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Those like red tiles just brought some life in here. Light. They brought light for sure. Um, but so you don't know about the life, but it but we de we definitely need to uh, tuck some, have them retuck some of those. Make sure they're fully secured. I don't want them falling on anybody's head. But hopefully the sound is uh, improving. You know what I mean? Hopefully the sound has improved uh, since we've been treating the room little by little. The studio is pretty much done. There is that one piece that has already arrived so that Danny can also have audio on his computer. And then um, they got to tweak, I guess, the Discord, maybe, something like that, or, or, or the blog talk. So we'll be fully functional. Um, yeah, and we're going to be getting some guests in here, man. I think Bo has Ishe Smith scheduled for next week, Tuesday. Correct. Next week, Tuesday. And, um... Jeremiah Milton should be s scheduled, right, Bo? We have a few guests we're on... We're working on Milton. Milton ain't get, came back with a date yet. Okay, yeah, but we're trying to get Jeremiah Milton in the studio before... His August 6th Madison Square Garden debut on the Jake Paul pay-per-view undercard. So definitely uh, working working on some things. And hopefully after, hopefully by noon today, we will have some news to I share. I doubt it'll be. By, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, hopefully. You doubt what will be by noon? No, I'm just saying. I think ain't the meeting at 1130. It should be about half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It might be longer. <clears throat> so maybe, you know. So, um, man, Tevin has been out the ring for a long time. That's a long time. Yeah, I mean. Like How I long has Mickey Bay been out? Mm, I want to say maybe two months longer. Wait, man, bro, who's sparring him? You haven't heard anything? No, nah, I haven't really spoke to Mick. Like, he, you know, we've texted a bit, but nothing crazy. Bo, he ain't run across your gyms? I seen Mickey, I say about yeah. a month and a half ago at top rank, but he wasn't working out. He was just watching. Yeah, Mick has been out the ring a month and a half longer than Tevin. Wow. So he's been out the ring since December of 2019. That was a George Cambosis split decision loss. I'm taking the over on this fight. Hell yeah, this shit going over whatever and whatever mm -hmm. round. Ain't nobody getting knocked out. I'm picking over 26 rounds. The over I gonna be know. the over gonna be uh minus money, bro. That shit ain't gonna be right. That shit ain't gonna be good money. Man, I don't know. Mick Mick said. Uh, he was going for the knockout, remember? Yeah, no, he said he said he going to hit him and surprise him. He's like, oh, shit, he got power. That's what he said. He oh, got, yeah. He said he got that power that make dudes realize, like, oh, shit, he got power. But, you know, he ain't got no one-punch power. He told you that. And that's what, you you know, I mean, Tevin took <laughs> piñasos, man, as the Cubans would say, from, from JoJo. And he didn't get knocked out, so... Mm -hmm. I don't see him getting knocked out by no. Nah. Since 2013, Mickey Bay got two knockouts. Since 2013, so in 10 years, two knockouts. Mm. Not knocking him, because I think I'm going with Mickey, but I'm just saying. Damn. Like you going with him to the fight? Like <laughs> we, got, we got Corey McGowan. I mean, McGowan I will go with, with him a, to the fight, but I'm picking him though. We got Corey McGowan with a five dollar super chat. Shout out to you. Go ahead. Spin his wheel for you. See if we could get you entered into any of our wonderful raffles going on. What's going on, everybody? Mickey said. Mickey no, no. said what? They saying y'all funny. They said bowl over twenty six rounds. <laughs> that was funny. Canada, you silly. You silly. So, you said we got to spin the wheel, bro? Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel for Corey McGowan. Let's see what raffle we could get him entered into. Let's get it. Let's get it. August 12th, Arizona. Ness, you going? If you going, I'm going. If you ain't going, I ain't going. What about Sack? 
Who's Sac? Sacramento. Ain't that August 6th? Yeah. I'm saying, what's up with that? We so this is the Islandry Lora autograph hat. So if, if if you choose to, Corey, if you send five dollars more, you can be entered into this autograph at Islandy Lari Lara Shoe Palace hat. If not, you know it's all good. And it's we will be doing good. those raffles on Sunday, July thirty yep. first. It's coming up. We'll be giving away a lot of shit. A lot of shit. Everything except the you know, that giveaway trip. That yes. you can't just buy a raffle ticket yep, in. Yep, yep. You know, you actually, don't... someone sent me an email like, "Yo, can I get two raffle tickets?" I'm like, "You could get a hundred, a <laughs> hundred raffle tickets, absolutely. You get as many as you want." Let's see. Uh... Yo, Chrome wasn't letting me log into my bookie, b. Hmm. Well, let's see what's going on because I'm I'm I need y'all help. Let me see. Did Bo do a poll? Cause it's fight week and uh Oh Danny? Yeah, man. Yo, so what's up with that money, champ? What money? That money still still in there? What money? The money we won. I mean, on what's Ryan. five? What you made? You made forty. Yeah, forty five. No, nah, I don't know about forty five. No, nah, I want Your five back. Yeah, my five back, champ. Yo, you know too much, bro. On, what you bro. mean your five back? Come on. I gotta get some taxes like Uncle Sam, bro. Right. I don't know nothing about Uncle that. Uncle Sam. That's between you and God. Uncle you, Sam gonna that's see between. all that money going through my account that's, and be like, What's going on? Yeah. So I gotta be like, No, my man's gave me five. All right. I put that in my pocket. All right, well, I'm then a, I paid them out. I'm gonna throw you the five then. You know what I'm saying? I throw you the five. So you know what I'm saying? throw me forty. Throw, you know, slide me that, you know. I ain't got no open best. Let me see what's going we on. We actually this. could take that money and mm -hmm. bet on some baseball. I'm telling you, bro, we could win big on baseball. This ain't no baseball show, man. You you know, you got a studio here and a team that's behind you. You could you could you can end this show at nine. And start Danny's baseballs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Danny's baseballs. <laughs> Space balls with Danny. You know what I'm saying? But me, I'm on his boxing shit. Nah, I'm I'm just saying, okay. I'm trying to be on some money shit. Okay. Christian Chris is this Chris No, this not this not Millie. This the other one. This Chris Billingsmith. Ooh. Bo, what you know about Chris Billingsmith? I didn't see. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Have he had any tight fights? Is he the dude? Let me look to make sure. Remember that one fight we watched? And it was slugging If he had out. any Hold tight on. fights, let me know. Because 135 on Isaac Chalemba. How old is Chalemba these days? You think about 52, 53. Nah. Why are you disrespectful? Bro, he old than a bitch. Isaac Chalemba's 28, man. So you don't remember watching What? The this another oh this Isaac Chamberlain okay I was reading Dan that's why you happy Google's it I thought I was reading Isaac Chalemba remember when Connor Ben knocked Chris Van here now and Connor Ben wore his chain what during the not like during the fight yeah so Chris Billum Smith fought on that undercard against Tommy McCarthy we watched it we were there we watched it, it was a slug fest from beginning to end Tommy McCarthy got a uh, tire he the light skinned black dude. Mm. We, we watched it, but Chris Billings is strong. He a tough fighter, got a good chin, and he got some pop. I don't know. I ain't Isaac lie Chamberlain. To I, I, I ain't gonna I, I, lie to I, 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 Bo be them. thinking high of like a lot of fighters. Bo bets all fighters. and makes money. That's all that matters. Last weekend I lost though. Joe Ed and Gabe. We all they, lose, man. Avery. Oh man. We all lose on boxing once in a blue. I got to start from the bottom again, Danny. Started from the bottom, now you're here. So I'm on Isaac How much? You, how much you lost, bro? We're not going to talk about that. Because he be betting heavy. You heard it, You heard him trying to get me to jump out the window on a sparrow bet. I'm yeah, like, oh. Yeah, to get you to put $15 down. Nah, and I said <laughs> no. I, what I put, then I said, babe, How much did Ness lose? A total of $5. Man, I wish. And I'm feeling good over here. Isaac Chamberlain has one loss already. <laughs> Let me go ahead and put this on the screen share for y'all. Um, that loss came yeah. to Lawrence Acoli, so that's not a bad loss. He actually did not get stopped by Acoli, so that's also good. 
Since then, those are domestic level dudes he's been beating on, so I can't tell you. He said fifteen dollars is jumping out the window. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro. We, I'm in a new city that everything is more. Puta madre, man. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm done with these fucking vapes, man. Fuck those vapes. You should have been quit si- smoking cigarettes, What's bro. What's in the vape? Tobacco? Yeah. Or, uh, no. no. Nicotine. Nicotine. Same Nicotine. shit. No, it's I not. thought it was weed you were smoking out the vape the whole time. I'm like, this man smoking a blunt and smoking a electric blunt as well at the same time he's getting he said, super high he said an electric blunt <laughs> okay i remember wiley camacho but he ain't nothing to talk about mm. what the chat saying about that chris billingsmith fight i'm gonna stay away from that keeping it moving okay brenda cabo hall that's the girl that's fighting serrano she's not getting no wins are saying that Chamberlain only lost to Coley and Billum Billum Smith lost to some dude whose name starts with an R. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so damn Jake getting more of a more of a less of a fa- more of a favorite more of a favorite. What minus two twenty now? Ah <sighs> man, I, I I feel like who's that Jake? I feel like Cody Crowley's said- trainer. What's his name, Bo? <laughs> you asked me the other day. All I know is they call themselves Salt and Pepper. Damn, because I know he said that. You know, he he feeling he leaning he leaning very confidently. You know, sort of like a peacock the way he talking. You know what I'm saying? It's what like, do you mean? Inspirational? He, he's 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 preaching. He's talking with his chest, man. He's saying he's saying rock my knockout. Mm. I'm like, no way, no how. It's not enough time. But we're going to see for the media workout. Yeah. That's what we're here for. We're going to see. We're going to see how he look, and we're going to find out. I'm trying to bring okay. There's nothing on the line yet, man. Um, we, we we should have. We, we they should. don't even got Danny out here yet. What's today? Damn. What's Tuesday? Tuesday. Oh, yeah, they wilding. My bookie, y'all wilding. Yeah. No not, Danny? No Danny. It's fight week. It's fight week. It's like five days away. What, y'all doing? what are you for waiting real? on? Unfortunate. For real, for real, for real. No Danny, bro. No Danny. But Danny Garcia know. is a minus eight fifty. Holy smokes! I gotta cancel all my bets I got with real people and put it all on the bookie. Mm. What? Well, Benavidez Jr. is a plus five ten. Yeah, I know. Um, that's not a dec- That's not a bad bet. At yeah. Rans- Yo, Rans- five ten. Rancis is a plus. Rancis Bartholomew, uh, who is in a fight with Gary plus and seven, Russell. Plus 700? Yeah, plus 750. Ha <laughs> ha. Adam Kyle Naki is plus Bo, money as well. But what we got tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning we got Wednesday morning. Like, what you mean? Guess. Uh, Christopher Pitufo Diaz. Uh, what, what time? What time? Wait, 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 wait. No, 7 my guess is at 7 a.m. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, yeah. So, Bo, bump him at 6 and let me. Uh, your... Bump him at 6. I got to follow up with the guy. All right, well. And your guess guaranteed at 7, my... Nestor? Uh, I mean, you were supposed having... to put it on the calendar. No, I'm saying. Ago. I can. I can... <laughs> no, I'm saying. And, and then I got an 8 a.m. for you. Damn. Uh, you don't want to go three tomorrow? 8 a.m.? Who that? Mickey Bay. Oh, he texts right now? Yeah. He said, how about tomorrow or Friday? What What are we looking like on Friday, Fr- Friday bro? Friday is better, to be honest. What we got? For, all right. Give me a time Friday, bro. Yeah, wow. They, they over here doing live scheduling, Brandon. This yeah. It's crazy. And they said, I was supposed to put somebody he told me about yesterday on the schedule weeks ago. Come on, bro. Take it easy. Bro, take it easy. Weeks ago, nah, man. he he take it easy. He did just tell I, you. I, I, I yeah, been he told, told him that shit. He didn't even give me a time. He, he, no, he he did. I definitely gave you a time. He said such and such might be coming through. I said, oh, I've been waiting on such and might. such to pop up in person. Bro, exactly. So then, like, why wouldn't you have it on the schedule? Why would you book your guest? It's on the schedule. It just didn't have a time because you didn't give me one. Lies. Danny yeah. just said I gave you one. Shout out Serafino. <laughs> But yeah, so uh, 
Looks like we'll get that for Friday. It's all good. So guys. today we have no guests. No. Damn. Here I am thinking someone was coming in. Yo, Bo. Tell us more about the jumpers Bo. around here, Danny, because yeah. mind so, you, no, we started, whoa, 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 we, we nah, partially nah, nah, started like. Whoa, 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 no, 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 I don't even, we ain't even finna do that. Um, but yo. did he jump? Bo, uh, what's the, uh, is there odds for, for me and Bump Gardner? <laughs> Bo? For Michaela Mayer and Alicia Bump Gardner. better be. Yeah. Alicia Baumgartner is a plus 250. What? Oh, yeah. We finna make some money, chap. I got mayor, so you can bet with me, too, if you want to. Ooh, oh, calling yeah. your bluff on you. Yeah. He want, to, he, want, he, want, he, want, he want to cut your throat right on the face. Nah, just give me nah. that. Just In give a me, beauty contest, give, I got Give me Baumgartner. the odds. Give me the In odds. In a fight, I got Michaela Mayer. I seen some. You seen some? Yeah. Okay, Mikey. <laughs> Yo. Yo, that's funny because... Michaela Man does have amazing activity. I mean, amazing. And I don't know, does she get tired? Does she? Oh, nobody want to ask um, She may not get tired. But I'm asking. I'm no, not, I don't know. I, I just bro, feel like I see her throw punches on every fight, but I don't, I just, you like, know, I don't know if I tune in or tune out when know. she does get tired. Um, I feel like she, you know, just like the you throw a lot, you get Ibn, hit a lot. Okay, by the way, Who? his name is Ibn, man. Ibn? Who yeah. that? <laughs> Folks know? Uh, Cody Crowley Trainer. Oh, man. Ibn. Okay. So, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, you may throw a lot, but, you know, when you're throwing a lot, you're not able to defend yourself as much, huh? No, and that's what they say. Like when you throw a lot, you open for counter punches and things like that of that nature. You know, like I'm not gonna lie to you. Mm -hmm. Why would you? I don't believe that she lost to Hamadouch. Who? But Michaela. Uh huh. But but Hamadouch put hands on her. You know, Maham whatever her name is, Hamaduchi. Has a seventy five percent knockout ratio. You know Ooh. what I'm saying? And Michaela stood toe to toe from the first round to the last. But who has she knocked out? She ain't knocked out Terry Harper. Who? Habaduch. Bum Hamaduch. I mean, Baumgartner got what a fifty percent KO ratio. But she knocked out Terry Harper. Terry Harper ain't even go down. Bro, knocked out. She was on Bambi Bro, she, she was, was on out. Bambi leg. She was Bro, out. She was, she was out sleep sleep standing. standing. Man, she was not sleep. Her eyes was wide open. She was sleep standing. You hating? She had Bambi legs, and that's it. Oh my goodness. He said, "Why are you discrediting that you, woman?" I ain't did, did she have Bambi legs or did she go down? What, what's, oh, what's was ba is Bambi, Bambi legs, legs not shaky legs? Uh, where's our yeah, they shaky man. legs. Okay, was her legs not fucking stiff and she stuck because she paralyzed? And you know, temporarily Man, from the knockout, champ. You could get with a go on a beautiful date with a beautiful lady and get Bambi legs at the end after you get done handling business. Like that what? ain't nothing. In the now hell. getting knocked out is something, and she wasn't knocked out. She what just had Bambi legs. What is he there. talking about? No, pull that knockout up, yo. Pull that knockout up, Please, bro. pull the knockout up, because my man is out here being disrespectful. Bruh, I don't even know she what even Yo, Bo, check your messages, champ, you know? Y'all say not to say things on there, but nobody texts back. Say check your messages. That ain't that bad to say. You know? Uh, that ain't that I, bad. That's what I told. So on as far as the message go, that's what I was mentioning yesterday that it was kind of crooked. They were like, oh, well, the guest going to be yeah. on that side. Nah, but I'm, bro, that literally, you know, it's this every day, though. So yesterday don't count for today because, bet, 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 you bet. know, you know, today is a new day. It's a new dream. It's a new... Journey. You know, it's new, a new journey, it's baby. A new journey, good energy, man. It's 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 it's, it's, it's a new, long. It's, it's, new it's, it's already a long day because you know there's a lot of anxiety. You know, we're waiting on a call and iron out, I guess, our shirts, some details, and then we got the we got the big Hasim Rockman media workout right here, and, and, and uh, we got to run some tests with Bo to make sure that we could give you guys live camera feed of what's going on in the facility um, so that we could do a voiceover kind of it and 
Yeah, man. I mean, there's just a lot. There's just a lot. You know, I got some real important, you know, uh, personal life stuff to attend to. You know, today I should be closing on the house to make this trip to Vegas more official. You know what I mean? Fine. Let's go, champ, finally. Appreciate you. You know, because I ain't going to lie, you took me to see so many fucking houses, champ. I'm like, all right, you know, pick this one. Yeah, you, you know, know I mean, like, you got to make the right choice, you know. Yeah, um, for sure. The chat, the, the chat asking about last night's show. Last night's show, the uh, guest was literally, it rained in Las Vegas for the first yeah. time in like six years. And the guest was coming from L.A., and the lost the TAC or TCA whatever. Bro, her flight got canceled. Our guest flight got canceled. They, we had bad they weather wouldn't in Vegas. fly into Las Vegas until the weather cleared, which was like six o'clock. And you know we don't like to start late, so we couldn't uh, wait. Well, that was two hours late, man. Like it was, it was time to go at that point. I got family in. My my wife's family is in as well, so I'm trying to be mindful of that. But. Uh, she's here till Friday, so we just we gonna reschedule. You know, um, hopefully she's available sometime today. Maybe at a four o'clock is available, cause I got a six o'clock and a two thirty and a one thirty. Actually, is we have? A, I'm think we have a one thirty, not an eleven thirty, right? No, I thought it was eleven thirty. Let me see. I I have it in my calendar. Check it's my definitely one thirty. It's one thirty. Definitely one thirty. And Thursday's eleven thirty. I should probably get a haircut then. Should probably. So Bo, um, anytime between now and one thirty, we could do her. I won't even be back until like three o'clock. Mm. Well, more so three fifteen, three thirty. So then tomorrow it is. Tomorrow it is. Yo, know, that 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 thing today is at uh one thirty ten. I just said that. Yeah, I, but I just checked my calendar. It's at one thirty. I just said that. I know. I just confirming. I, yeah, I was just confirming you because sometimes you're you be, right. Yeah, that it was. At no, 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 no. Now that I'm right, you know, just making. We sure. got mad bent. One hundred two dollars super chat saying, "Get the house. It's Ness Cesare, Farmer UD." See what he did there. Get the house. So. Is he trying to say bet the house? No, he's saying get the house. Like he's saying literally get the house. Cause no, you, I think he's saying literally get the house because farmers winning by UD. So if you bet money, you get in the house. Uh, but he said it's necessary. What about Corey McGowan with the $5 super chat? Just sending love. Shout out to Corey. We're going to get and spin the wheel for Corey. <laughs> we already spent the wheel for Corey. What? Yeah, Where am I been? Yeah, you 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 the one actually spun it, mm. like in a circle. What? Where it is born? What? All right, bro. So, bro, two and a half years—that's so long. What do you mean? <laughs> See, that's oh how, the layoff, the layoff, the layoff, yeah, the layoff. That's how long, bro. That's yeah, how long. I mean for both men. You know, same layoff. I mean, Mickey's is like a month and a half longer, but, long you know, time. when you talk about these extended periods of time, same thing. Especially if they've been in the gym. You know, I was just in Philly. It's having a look in shape. Hey, Twitter finger of Vega. Type, call mm. in. Call in, Vega. Twitter fingers. Mm. Look at Bo getting... Uh, That's my boy. But I, he typing a lot today, so I'm just saying being, call in. You being, you being baited in, Bo? Nah, he ain't said nothing to me. That's my boy. I see him very active in the chat, and I'm just letting him know the phone lines are open. Mm. Nah, he said, Matt Ben said, no, Ness, get your house. Mm. So he's saying, like, get your, you know, get your crib, champ. Yeah, man, I'm hoping that that's what God has in store for me. That's what it's going to be. Uh, you know, it's been a long process, but. It is what it is. I still have not been reached out by any landscapers from my own community or Tyler's. I haven't asked for a Tyler, but no, I, yes, you did. That was early, early on. Not you know this house. Yeah. You seen the floors? They all done. This house got all the floors done. Mm. But sometimes you just gotta Google the uh, landscaping Damn, company Ness, and call have... them over and pay full price. 
like everybody else. Sometimes uh, you always do that. I just want to pay full price to someone within my community. You feel me? Mm. Why well, spend my Did money you know, somewhere else? They super chat with me. They listen to me. I'd rather spend my money with them. That's what I've always done. So when I was at the DMV getting my Nevada driver's license, mm-hmm. I seen a commercial pretty much saying uh, Nevada, state of Nevada, whatever, will pay $3 per square inch of grass that you remove from your yard. Yeah, that's Not square they don't inch, want, but square feet. That's uh, because they don't want you to some, use the water. Yeah, they want you to take the grass out of your yard, literally. But this is like literally a water shortage to the point where – you know, it's like a serious it's like cost. Square foot, not square inches. You know, serious cost for concern out here. You know, so that's why they find people. They only allow you to, like, water your grass for, like, an hour a week or some shit. Like, we only get 20 minutes a day uh, three times a week. Yeah, man. To water our grass. Like Canna said, get some turf, man. Get some turf. Man, I'm with the rocks. Put the rocks in the front yard. Yeah, I I, I like the I like the uh I never seen rocks for a front yard till I moved here. I prefer the rocks. It's low maintenance, you know what I'm saying? People don't know what it is to cut their own grass, you know what I'm saying? That I ain't shit, man. I know. And I know what it is to cut that Florida grass where it rains every other fucking 20 minutes the grass be sticking to your leg so the grass is thick than a motherfucker that southern grass you know what i'm talking about that shit you got to go back and forth if you got you a little but here, here's fake a, mower here, here's the problem like having a cheap mower one and then two it's like yo some, some yeah, but, but let's be clear some, let's be some clear people cheap, go, cheap to him is i don't know 600 Seven hundred. Nah, I'm talking. And, 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 I'm talking. And, and, and nah, less. Nah, I'm talking. Hell no, nah, bro. I'm talking probably like a, you know, those electric mowers and shit that people out here with. The I got one of cord. those. We, nah, we, nah, I ain't got no extension. Yeah, cord. that's the ones I'm talking. About, I got bro. the 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 battery operated one. Yeah, see, I don't know about those. Yo. Yeah, I don't know about yeah, those. Yeah, lithium batteries, b. Nah, we do we do the gasoline. No, I'm say, exactly. We destroying do, the ecosystem. We doing gasoline. So <laughs> get, Making all that noise to get, your neighbor. Nah, bruh. Come on, dog. Tesla of mowers. Like if you want a Tesla truck, this guy wants a mower. I mean a Tesla truck, but he's still out here in little ass <laughs> gas operated mowers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Next he gonna tell me he got a white fucking fridge. Oh shit, bro! Look, they actually make a lawnmower. No, they make an iRobot lawnmower. This is yeah. this is an i bro. Yeah, what yeah, the it's fuck? Dope. <laughs> Yo, Man. get a zoom into this guy. He's hilarious. I already got it. <laughs> what the We're gonna fuck? Go, you go in the house and come back out. You're more like good, more in the neighbor's yard. That's or something a good like Father's that. Day gift for me, yo. You know what I'm saying? A good like. Best friend day. <laughs> no, fuck it. This shit two racks. What you talking That's about? That's cheap. Bro, my dad was paying. Yo. Let me tell you something. My dad was paying 3500 for the commercial walk behind. Yeah, bro. yeah. Seven racks for the stand-ons. Eight yeah. racks, nine racks for the stand-ons. Like, bro. Nah, see you this wilding. This shit two racks, see bro. See you wilding. You could get me the one that I ride on for like three Gs. And that's it. No. <laughs> Madeline, come get your man. Yo. <laughs> you better talk to your woman. Yo. You better talk to your son. You better talk to God. It's funny. You know, uh, uh, Santa Claus. Santa you know, Claus. whoever you want. It's funny. The first time um, I bought a house and shit, I wanted a, a ride or a mower. <laughs> you been in my house in Roselle. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you got to ride on mower for your house in Roselle? I wanted one. <laughs> bro, that shit. Yo, I had a lot of side yard and front yard and then the backyard, bro. It was a lot. I felt like it was a lot. Nah. Like, bro, at, at, at one point. You like, would you saying? have a little 21-inch mower, 19-inch mower? You know, the typical ones? The the, the... I, don't, I don't know. I think I had like a 32-inch. Oh, really? Yeah, I will have to check. I'm telling you, I got that lithium. I, you think I left it there? I brought that shit to Florida. Is it like the ones you like this or yeah. the ones you like this? 
No, nah, it's uh, it's like this. You got to hold the handle, yeah. the top handle and the bottom handle in, or is uh, it just one remember handle? Remember, mine's electric, baby. So it's just it's push handle? start. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, smooth. Right. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I know they gonna upgrade that when I'm gonna control. Yeah, it with I don't my know. App. Like if I. When I was, you know, back in my prime, when I was cutting grass mm -hmm. back in the day, mm -hmm. I would have had your lawn done 15 minutes. Damn. Like, but you had to stand on. 10, 10 minutes, maybe. Bro, your yard is small. Now, uh, my dad didn't get the stand-ons till after I joined the military. So my brothers got the stand-ons. No, stand -ons. and that's what I'm saying. I know that one was small, so I never got around to mm -hmm. getting the stand-on. No, the same, you, you, I mean, um, there is like no, you know, you could go get you a craftsman fucking Damn, tractor, they still make those? tractor that you sit on, right? You can't go oh, get, yeah, craftsman, you, yeah. you, you can't go get a stand on of those. Like the stand on are going to uh, all be commercial and you're looking at seven, seven racks of butter. Yeah. Well, I don't mean stand on. Those are whack. I'd rather sit. Who's standing anyway? What the freak? I mean, it's, uh. You know, from a business standpoint, way more efficient for mm. sure. You know, you able to maneuver. why because they they cut faster, yeah, better. They're, what? They're, they're faster and you can maneuver easier in them too. You know, mm. so my brother be looking like Spider Man in them bitches. I'm so mad the Danny Garcia line is not out yet. So what? Yo, uh, shout out to uh, UK Rob. Right, I think that's his Instagram is UK Rob Yo, TBB plus. or Twitter. He said lawnmower talk is more entertaining than farmer. But he's out in the UK doing his thing with the uh, landscaping too. So shout yeah. out to Rob. I'm shocked that he didn't say what he prefers. Yeah, I was gonna ask your preference because I can't I can't talk to you about my preference because you, you you don't know shit about that. Um, no, I just have the preference of what is more convenient and i think it's more convenient to sit and ride than stand and ride mm. that's all and i also think it's more convenient to never have to go to the gas station never have to buy the two because some of those machines are Bro, gasoline if you have, if you and have, oil um yeah like your weed whackers and your uh exactly blowers, electric baby those are two cycle yeah you come but what I'm saying is we had a business, bro, so you need you can't do no electrical shift for no business. Canna says usually Thursdays the lines come out. I know, I'm just I'm just I'm just eager to explore what ways there are to make money off of Danny and the Benavides fight. But both scared me already. Five ten. They they're not giving any shot. I guess I'm the one that was giving more credit to Benavidez. <laughs> like plus five ten, they're they're saying he's he's not winning. So how the Vegas got it? They pretty much saying when we was told that he was working on the movie or whatever. In actuality, he was like hanging out and sleeping in and not training and not doing nothing. Hold on, that's how they got it. I'm. I mean, but that's your assumption of yeah. that's your interpretation of of the odds. That's not correct, you know. But I get you because I'm with you in the sense that I thought they would be tighter. You know, he's had a couple of fights at 54. This is Danny's first fight at 54. Plus, he's been off of a long layoff since the Earl fight, right? Right, Almanac. What the fuck? Like, I'm dumb. I'm shocked. <laughs> Yeah, I'm shocked. David Benavidez is a a minus. I mean, a plus five ten. That's like Jose no Benavidez. shot. Yeah, yeah, Jose, no shot. That's no shot. Nah, definitely got. Uh, I mean, shit. What's that? Five to one underdog. So clearly not giving him much of an opportunity at all. And I just want to give a huge shout out to everybody in the chat because they know they know they're smart people. Look, electric weed eaters are trash. Somebody else saying them hoes are weak. Electric? What the hell? Somebody saying pure garbage. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what brands you guys have. And uh, I don't know what you're trying to cut. I, I'm going to send Danny a picture of my yard right now. And now my lawnmower is going to be even better for myself because, you know, the pool got done. So that takes a a, 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 a quite a a lot of space right but, absolutely um so now i just gotta cut around it right 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 you know what I mean? i'm not gonna lie you need it's to, the front you, yard you need, this big. you need to get somebody out there Earl. bro 
because your shit look like a fucking jungle. I oh got a, my god! I got a this little looks boy. Beautiful. Nice I got a, I got a little boy that comes through. I, I like like I said. I like I like hiring within. You know, he's he's from my neighborhood. He's a little Ukrainian kid. He has a little business. I started out with him, you know, uh, a while ago. He didn't even have a cash app. He was too young for that. Word. You know I, oh, like, wow. I like giving kids opportunities. So he young, young. Okay. Mm. We got scary. He a big ass kid though. <laughs> for real, he had a he had a he drives an a and kid. He got a, a a trailer with a drive along. Like he lived next door, but he don't just cut my shit and the kids on the, and the, the people on the block. Mm. He he take his show he, on the road. Yeah, yeah, he take it, and that's he why got I a like business. him. He got a business. That's why I like him. Yeah, he out here hustling. So Set, young. Scary nickname. Five dollar soup chat saying bird up. I don't know what that means. Bird up. But uh, appreciate Bird the love, gang. and we're going to spin that. Bird. <laughs> Don't do that. What? That's uh, Angel. Bird gang, it's the weekend too, man. Yeah. We're going to spin the wheel for you, though, see if we could get you into one of these raffles. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Benavidez plus two, one, which means two entries not one but two entries into the david benavidez glove raffle if his super chat if you send 10 more dollars meets the requirement of 15 dollars, which you have only sent five meaning you have to send 10 more then you can be enrolled jazz jazz 11 member for three months at the champ level saying how hard was danny hitting in the gym well, you can go see for yourself youtube.com forward slash the boxing voice as all those videos have now been put up. Uh, shout out to Canna, always working. Damn, can I get some credit? You know, I, I went out there to get the interviews. Nah, shout out to Canna though, for real. I, I, mean, was, I was without Canna, you wouldn't be out there. Like you went, like you need him. Y'all like Batman and Robin, because mm. if he don't put it up, them shits just sit. You know how I was. That's why you left me. Danny know he he was like, yo, bro, I'm going to these shits. I would not even put him up sometimes. Sometimes just be like, oh, the day went by, ain't no need to put that press conference up now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's, it, gets, it gets, you know, it gets busy, man. It gets busy. I don't know how I would feel about one of these Tesla lawnmowers because, like, where is the bag? Where are the clippings going? On the ground. The fuck? That's the healthiest for your grass. Man, I like my shit to look clean. You crazy, bro. I like my shit to look clean. See, I think that's the difference with the Florida grass. It reseeds itself. See, like, yeah, no, nah, I don't like that shit. We would always. I think it's called Bohemian. We, oh, you found one a little bit cheaper. Look, he's trying to get one for his pops for Father's Day. Hell no. Nah. He would look at me like I was goofy about him. Something you like crazy. This, bro. That's, how, that's how all old people look at technology until they get the user. Oh, mijo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> After they learn, they be going crazy. Next thing you know, every time you come home, he cutting grass and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on his porch chicken. Every day. Coffee and shit. Every just day. Watching it. Just watching that joint. No, for sure. Nah, I don't know that I'd buy him. First of all, I got like a, I think he 14. I, I got a brother though, so motherfucker, that's your, that's your job. You cut the grass. You get what I'm saying? So. I hear you, man. My, I, you, you're, pretty, I, you're a pretty mean brother, man. Nah, I'm not. Um, I guarantee you my father has not cut the grass in over 12 years. Bro, let me tell y'all something, because I see some people like, damn, um, you know, grass is more interesting. Rob said it. Uh, I think I seen uh, Vega say something like, oh, you know, whatever. The point is, it is a slow week. So I went, I went to boxing scene. Look, one hour ago. They're reporting what we reported maybe 48 hours ago. Cambosos on his Twitter. And this is boxing scene. Usually they're like fast, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they're talking about the tweet that Cambosos called T.O. a bitch. How long ago did we do that? Sunday? Monday? Yeah. Tuesday? Saturday? Uh, we, 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 we didn't did it before the day. Before, you we know? definitely did Aram saying that somebody got to take short money and the pay-per-views got to be 20. Bo, 
uh, put scary nickname in that Benavides plus one raffle as he did send in those ten dollars to finish that super chat. He's saying shout out David Benavides. I'm not gonna win that shit, but here's ten for y'all. Bird up. But we gonna we still sit. gonna put you in there in case you do not, win. Not once, but twice. Two entries. Two times. Enough. So uh, I guess the only new news which don't matter is Hearn on making Bivol Canelo rematch for next May. We're a little bit up against time, and it's like, I don't even care. Like, you got to see what happens with Triple G, how's he look, you know what I mean? Like, that rematch ain't set in stone to me. Exactly. Um, so it's done. I mean, look, Yo. look, boxing scene has new book fills in for those who missed the boat on Christy Martin. Like, they're literally... Like, their fourth article is about Christy Martin, a fighter that's been retired maybe 20 years. So, I'm telling you, it's a very slow week. They still have Joette Gonzalez once Dog Bay rematch news, which that was this weekend. It's a slow month in boxing, and we're trying to make, you know, brownies out of shit. Like, did you want us to come in and talk about the business? Because Probellum is still suing Ben Shalom, like... Do y'all really care that boxers being sued for defamation? The hottest news would have been Andrew Ruiz saying he want to fight Deontay Wilder. Again. Yesterday. Again. We um, didn't already talk about we it. We talked about that. And, and realistically, my man got to get through his fight that he got right now with, with, with somebody credible. Yeah, he going to stop Ortiz. Stop. He can't even stop Ariola. Who stopped Ariola? Who no? He ain't never been knocked out. Man, they stopped the fight when he was fighting Wilder, but he ain't go down. All right, Bo the better, bro. When you said that, I'm like, nah, Christy Martin ain't been. I knew you was exaggerating when you said 20 years. But was I right with the nah, 20? Nah, it's only been 10, but I didn't even think it was that long. Yeah, nah. I mean, have you seen her? Tell me, have you seen her? Nah. Definitely not recent. He said, didn't Stavern stop Areola? Look it up. I don't know. I do remember they had a rematch, and I remember Stavern putting it on Areola in that first one. He beat him twice, back to back, back to back. Damn. Yeah. First sip of the day? Uh, nah, man. I just love those cantinas. They keep it nice and warm. Mm. Yeah, I had my coffee. I'm not going to lie, though. I do need the thermal because my shit's got cold. Coffee get cold. You don't want it no more. Good morning, TBV, says Canna. Says Edgar Martinez. Shout out to you, champ. Good morning from the DR. My brother Canelo needs to stay away from the Mexican monster. Mm. We don't care about that fight anymore. The way Canelo is looking and sparring lately is whack. Mm. Yo, Josh Teller, Jack Catterall rematch likely to happen November 26. That's a ways out. Not really. Bro, they've been waiting on it. They haven't fought. Either of them haven't fought since then. Yeah, so they'll get two fight. The, there are two fights in this year. I mean, man, they, 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 they took a long time to schedule that. He dropped two belts to make that. They going to sell tickets just because of that. It's like... Domestic rivalry, bad blood. You know, yeah. right the wrong and all that good shit. I mean, shit. You interested in that one? Yeah. It's been some tight fights this this year, man. Definitely been some. That good was a tight fight. I thought Catterall won. Um, I thought Angulo did not lose to Berlanga, and I thought um, just this week. That my man didn't lose. It was insane to me that I was on a Joet. Joet. I can I don't know what the fuck is going on. I so don't you know. don't think that was a close fight? Joet? Yeah. Man, close is such a a, a a poor word to use when we know the sport. Like one dude was on the ropes getting clipped and and getting worked. Like he was put on the back foot. But he was working at the same time. Even yeah, though yeah, me and you picked Joet occasional, and Danny had a draw. Occasional uppercut, if that. Occasional something. But it wasn't a lot of anything, in my opinion. Mm. 
you know. Um, but yeah, I don't know, man. I, I I just expected. I mean, I didn't expect. It's just it's been some questionable decisions, some things I I'm, I'm, I haven't been. I'm I'm just not on the same um, you know side as a lot of these decisions. I I, I thought Joette won. I thought and uh, I thought Berlanga lost. You know, I thought Catterall won. I'm sorry. But uh, LV Slugger with a $2 super chat, he says, Ariola did get dropped by Wilder six years ago. 100 emoji. 100. Boy, you can't say nothing about Wilder without LV coming out the Wilbergs. <laughs> we got Swift Jackson with a $5 super chat saying Shakur and Osaki get heated on Twitter. What y'all yeah. think about the exchange? Yo, that's crazy because we talked about it on the rooftop, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, there's not a lot to think. I think Shakur made it clear. If I move up and fight Loma, it'll be clowns like you that say I'm ducking. But he got a point. If he move up, nobody's going to think he ducking the same way Cambosos wasn't considered ducking if he had fought Loma instead of Devin. And for Oshaki, he will be considering Shakur a duck because they've sparred. Shakur said he's number two, meaning Oshaki. And now Oshaki, you know, took advantage of that interview and is using it for his benefit. And it caused the Twitter beef where he's like, I don't run. And Shakur's like, ain't nobody running from you. But, like, again, some people will believe you ran from him if you do move up and fight Loma and not him. We won't. Educated boxing fans, people that... And I ain't going to say educated boxing fans because that's unfair. I'm going to say people that care more about accolades would care... Or respect that you fought Loma. People that care more about the man that beat the man or defending your belt or uh, he called you out. So, you know, uh, you answer, the, answer the smoke, right? right? You know what I mean? I don't know. It's tough. It's like Oshaki got two losses to dudes we don't know versus Shakur moving up and fighting Loma. It's like... His handlers probably won't even let him do it. Unless it's a big fight in Houston somehow. Unless they can make it in Houston since he's a native of Houston now. And Oshaki's from Houston now. Uh, from Houston. Maybe they could do it. And they need to take advantage of Houston. You know, more fighters need to take advantage of Houston and what's going on in Houston. Yo, you think we need the lights under the table again? Let me go to go to the wide shop, Bo. Let me see. We do got several super chats and that you got to get to, like five of them. Let's go. Um, so you got spin the wheel for Swift Jackson, first and foremost. Swiffy, not to be confused with Danny. Garcia. Who's fighting Saturday. Not live fight chat right here. What time are we going live, chat? Uh, 6 p.m. You are in the running for a shirt if you sent 10 or more dollars. So with five more... Swift Jackson, you'll be in the shirt raffle. Scary nickname, $5 Super Chat saying, what do you guys think of Nganu boxing Tyre- Tyson Fury in four-ounce gloves? Um, the commission would never allow it, but we do appreciate the Super Chat. So we'll spin the wheel for you as well. Um, that scary nickname, Ness, if you could spin that wheel. Let's go to the wheel. Let's see what he get. Danny Garcia. Kenichi Bear. Kenichi Bear. Kenichi Bear headphones, which are not only headphones that you can use to work out in or just chilling and lounging around the house listening to music or out about, out and about. They also double as gaming, gaming headphones. headphones for Xbox, PlayStation, and even your PC. Now, if you don't want to wait, and try to win these in this $15 raffle, you can always go straight to KenichiBear.com, use the code TBV, the only place that's going to get you 15% off. Yeah. All right. I so, was excited. But if not, if you want to be entered into the raffle, scary nickname, you would have to send $10 more to be entered into that. True. Matt Ben 100 would have fought out Super Chat saying good and Dog Bay. I don't know who is good. He said, good and dog bay made me money. 
good in Dog Bay. Good, 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 Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. No clue. But he says. You didn't dim the lights today. Yes, I did. Hey, then. Yes, I did. You did? Yeah. Wow, so it's really bright in here now with the red. Shout out. Bo, can we get a uh, IG? You little hater. Now Bo, we got Bo, now we gotta Bo, beg Bo to yeah, do IG. Bo. He used to yo, he teased us, yo. He gave us the, the A1 treatment. Now he like, nah. Man. Nah, before I wasn't engineering and running the Discord and keeping Come on, up with Bo. The super Come on, show. you Jamaican, man. You got this, man. Yeah. We gonna make it. Us Caribbean folk, we 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 just bite down and we hustle, man. Hustle. Bo, hustle. You, you Jamaican? Hustle hard. Hustle. Do I, do I look Hustle. like a Jamaican? I'm Hustle. black. I'm from the Hustle. Cotton Hard. Fields. I'm from Alabama. Nah, you got Jamaican family. My mama from there. Alabama. Her Most Alabamians from Alabama. come from Jamaica. Come on. Yeah, and you Mexican. Whoa. You look like you from Guadalajara or something. Yeah. Tijuana. That's racist. No, it ain't. Jalisco. That's racist. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. How that's racist, but the Jamaican line wasn't racist. I said that's not racist, bro. No, I'm talking about bro, the Danny. I'm bro, talking about Danny. because... He don't look shit like somebody who would be from Jalisco. Why not? Why not? That's racist, bro. That is racist. That's racist, Dan. How you going to say who could live in Jalisco and cannot? I'm not not saying that you can't. I'm just saying. How you saying who could come? I'm not saying that you can't come. What are you fucking talking about? Come from. Come from. I'm just saying. Come from. Traditionally, people... Traditionally, people like Jalisco, Canelo ain't come from Mexico either. It's not true, bro. People is just stupid. Jalisco's filled with motherfuckers with red hair and freckles, filled with motherfuckers with blonde hair, blue eyes. So it's like that in Dior and La Vega. Right. right. Ain't nothing we ain't seen. Nah, I ain't saying it. I ain't saying it is. I'm I, just saying. I'm just saying that what both said ain't racist because so, it's like just racist. like y'all got Jalisco. Right, ya Jalisco is our La Vega. Okay, and that's what I'm saying. So, so there's there's so, blonde and, and 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 white in in La Vega, just like there's in Jalisco. Right. So I could be from La Vega and be like from Jalisco. It's the same shit. Yeah, it's yeah. just less likely. I could be less from Birmingham likely. and Montgomery and Huntsville. Yeah, Damn. and Tennessee. <laughs> I I know I know I know you could like be pushed out for in in three different hospitals in three different cities. It's possible. I ain't know. So tell me about the jumper, because I'm telling you, that was interesting, bro. bro. They fucked up like five X's on my way to work. What, what, oh, oh, shit. What, that's what happened? What yeah, it's that? like five. Why, 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 why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why do you want to yeah. put people because in, a, in, a, in, a, in, in that type of dark All right, mood? So check me out. I'm wondering Yo, why happy, I can't get to work. Happy skies. Coffee and weed, like it's four twenty yeah. somewhere. Hardine light is open. The century Dude, sign is hanging open. off the bridge, and bro, I, I seen it. I was like, "What the heck?" Yo, Never seen it, bro. Why? Yo, why? My man's why is stubborn? Like, no, it, it, nah, yeah, we good. Stubborn, we, good. Yeah. we good. We good. Yeah, we good. I got it off my chest. True, I said, I told the world. True, let's open the phone. I told the world the real reason we was late. You know what I'm saying? True road tide. What up? Bo crazy. I don't, you know. I ain't even know that's what took place. I just, it was just traffic for me. Mm. That shit, detours and hella traffic. Facts. So scary nickname. And Danny always on right, right where he's supposed to be. My man. Damn, we ain't going to True Road Tide. Let's get Oh, it. on the call? Yeah. <coughs> Why not? C Dub. Talk about Ooh. wild of the Alabamians calling. Yeah. Rainwater down the mess. Boat was good, man. Get off that Bluetooth. That Bluetooth ain't good. <laughs> Bad for your health. Shit, you know what's going on. Man. I'm gonna get it right though. Shit, y'all can hear me though. Now we hear you a little bit better. A little bit. Well, shit, the um, the topic, man. We know it's a slow, slow week, but it's still cool because I think we could go off this. We could springboard off this. Whoever wins this is next to get slipped by Ryan the Tank. Ryan, this this the enter the Ryan the Tank sweepstakes. So um, I think it's going to be Sweet P Farmer. He has history with Tank, so that would be great for them. It would be a great fight until Danny. I mean, well, until Devin and Cambosa finish what they got going on. Um, or or Ryan and Sweet Pea would be great. So the winner of this would be, you know, getting 
included in the sweepstakes to get slept by running the tank is going to be food for one of them. You know, so, uh, yeah, man. And your boy Joette fucked up the UFC card. I had the locks. But, yeah, Joette messed, messed my card up, man. Shout out to Boston for blowing, for blowing the sheet, blowing the money. Well, all right, all right, all right. Um, appreciate it, C-Dub. Mad mm-hmm. Bent said spin the wheel for his $5. Mad Bent said spin the wheel for his $5. That he to got be- a dollar. He got a dollar. He said, oh, yeah, because we just were trying to figure his tweet out. I mean, his super chat out. Just never spun the wheel. So we going to spin the wheel. Going to spin the for wheel. Mad ben. And, Bo, you did see that scary nickname sent in the $10 for those two David Benavidez entries, right? Absolutely. And he says, are you guys for that fight? It looks like. And Ganu's done with the UFC. I oh, don't... okay. Because that's so funny because uh, Dewey Cooper sent me some Ngannou stuff today. Maybe there's a correlation there. Mm. Dewey told us like two months ago that that fight was going to happen. He sure enough did. Will being spent. Um, You sure that other $10 from Scary uh, Nickname isn't for the Kenichi bit headphones that he landed on? Because that yeah. was the last thing he landed yeah, on. Yeah, that's what he I said. That's what he Uh-oh. Speaking of Dewey Cooper, just like my message I sent him or mm. he sent me. Let me now. I'm gonna hit him up. Like, coach, is the fight happening? I'm gonna just send it. Coach, is the fight happening or what? You know what I'm saying, get him excited. Tell him I'll get him excited. Boy, it's 7:41 in the morning. He, uh, nah, 7:41 and he DMing up, me. Dude, like, what is you? Working out why he like hating? Why he hating? We got relationships. Us old folk understand. He having coffee right now, listening to the show. Oh, wow. Dewey. Send a send a motherfucker thumbs up if you uh watching the show because little man over here. He said little you know man. <laughs> Yo, he tried it. He out here playing Yo, games my, and shit. Yo, my man said little man. He tried it. He thought I was one of his old co-hosts or some shit. Oh! <laughs> he tried a little brother me or some shit. Oh, bro, you is my <laughs> old brother. You can't be my big brother, shit. You my dog. But if you, you want to be dog. my big brother, if you want to be my big brother, any one of y'all, y'all just got to play the role. You can't just say big bro. Fuck I, that. I, 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 I ain't Adrian, bro. Now, I ain't calling you big bro. You, you big bro. You ain't doing nothing. Fuck all that. Brona was out here wow. Yeah, he said, Brona said he ain't doing no uh, interview over the computer. He said they don't do Floyd's over the computer, and he hung up the phone. But he did he do that the second time? Because he apologized answer. real quick. He got that shit together. Mm. He got that shit together and did another whole press conference 70, what, 48 hours later? They gave him one yeah. day. They gave the media one day to notice, and next day, Brona was back on there apologizing. Like he should. I'm not... I'm not I'm not downing him for doing that. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? He should apologize, but he has a fucking point. Yeah, he ain't saying nothing that was wrong. He, no, he wasn't wrong. He, he, he wasn't he wrong. Wasn't. His delivery was wrong. His delivery was wrong, but he was right, and he keep bringing light to certain shit. And, you know, at one point or another, we got we to gotta start realizing he might be telling the truth. <laughs> they said, no, he came back and did a full online interview. Shout out to Canna. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He came back, did a full online interview, uh, and had to apologize. <laughs> he ain't just come back. He had to he had to say, my bad. Which again, he should. Yeah, but no, like I said, I, I wasn't uh necessarily condoning his actions, but I wasn't disagreeing with the words that was coming out of his mouth. Yeah. Like, he made a point. You get what I'm saying? So, and at the end of the day, you know, you always want to promote yourself. So, having a, a press conference in person is going to promote you way more than doing a Zoom. Well, it just looks bad on their part, on their behalf anyway, because it's like right after Brona says, you guys are not spending the money to put me in a real press conference, you turn around and spend the money for Luis Ortiz and Andy Ruiz. Is that Fox, though? It wouldn't matter. It's Al Heyman. Nah, I hear you, but I'm saying... You know like, what I'm saying? And, and then on top of that, it's like... Yeah, they heavyweights, and that's what they're going to tell us. Oh, you can't compare heavyweights to Broner. You know, heavyweights bring out the casuals, yada, yada, yada. 
Bro, my man fought a dude that was like off 15, 17, 18, 19, 20 month layoff, gets dropped in that fight, takes his another 13 month layoff, and then switches he switches trainers. Switches trainers, loses credibility for that, you know, and clout, because that was a bigger name trainer. Now we don't even know who he with. Um and, 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 and somehow he's back on pay-per-view. So if I'm Bruno, I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm like, hold up. Like, I didn't have to fight Maidana. I went in there. I did that. You know what I'm saying? Then I could have redeemed myself because that was a winnable fight for Bruno. People are going to laugh at me. People ain't going to believe it because it's something that is hard to argue because it didn't happen. But that was a winnable fight in the rematch for Bruno. He hurt Maidana late. Madonna couldn't get him out of there for starters. Right. And Madonna's one track minded. You know what I'm saying? Uh Broner could have went and watched the tape and did better in the rematch. Plus, he would have had that. He needed that rematch. That that fight changed him. By not getting the rematch, it made him timid and throw less punches ever since that fight. Absolutely. Moving forward, uh, it's Broner that said okay. He allowed Floyd to make millions and ha Heyman to make millions of dollars with the Madonna pay-per-view and second rematch. Had Broner not took $1.5 million to step the fuck aside to allow Mayweather to have the legacy that is Marcos Madonna and have Marcos Madonna become a rich dude in Argentina, uh, that wouldn't have happened. So again, Broner took a lot. Like he showed, yo, I'm part of the team. For our long, a lot. Like, again, fought Maidana. Didn't have to. Uh, gave up his rematch. Didn't have to. Fought Mikey. We all knew he was going to lose to Mikey, and we all knew they was using him to build Mikey's name. And he did that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, they Pacquiao. gave him. No, they gave him the bone. That's the bone. That's Pacquiao, the Pacquiao, that's the Pacquiao that's the that's a, the here you go. You've been a good guy. You've been rocking with us. Boom, payday. you get packed. Yeah, hell yeah. I don't know how there was no, you know, long standing wealth out of that fight because they did sell four hundred thousand pay per views. Um, to see him after that fight be on social media asking for fights and. Asking for $10 million and needing money, I didn't understand. But, you know, I, again, he's been treated good and bad, in my opinion. Like, you know, he did get the Pacquiao fight, but they've sacrificed him a lot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He, like, he's been put in some tough-ass fights. Like, no, Broner didn't really have any, more. you know, I'm not going to say he didn't have any gimmies, but he had some tough fights. You know, he had some, some good yeah. fights. Porter, remember... That was a sacrifice in itself, let me tell you, because I know that that story in and out. So with Sean Porter, everybody thought Porter was the one that Al was sacrificing, right? Because it was supposed to be Sean Porter, first time ever, going to make 144 pounds to fight Brona. Catch weight for Brona. Everybody thinking Al loved Brona. Motherfucking week of or, or two weeks out. Ain't no fucking catch weight, man. You fighting that welterweight. So it's like, oh, shit, you ain't the A-side, champ. Because they put you in here with a machine. The, the the only chance he had was Porter being drained. Because then you don't get the normal Porter that's on your ass 24-7. Right. But, you know, you get a Porter that's healthy, you done. Especially with no catch weight. And that's what it was. Sure enough, Porter won. You know what I'm saying? And then what happens next? Porter eventually gets into his Thurman and Garcia fight. So, you know, again, I feel like Broner has taken one for the team quite a few times. Rumor is, you know, I don't know how true, you know, uh, I was there when it was early, early on. I say it all the time when Tank manager had like this chicken and waffles email. So, Maybe it's true, but, you know, you would know more than me because you hung out with them a lot. But the rumor is Broner found uh, Tank. He was the discoverer of Tank. Like, it's because of... No, I don't think that's a rumor. I think that's public knowledge. Well, then, well, then that's you know? even worse because yeah, he said he... I, gave you a, I gave you 
He brought a piece of the puzzle. He brought Tank to Floyd. Well, there you go. You know, well, he there, brought him. Well, there you go. That's what I'm saying. So, like, Broner deserves some love from the company because um, he's done a lot. You know, um, again, I know Robert Easter has always been with Al, but is Broner the, the, the introduction of that, you know? Uh, or is it Mike Stafford, Broner's old right, trainer? Right, right, right. Very interesting. Brona need to leave him alone and go to the zone. Get which is crazy. On the zone. Which is crazy. Time and but, time again, he's shown how loyal he was. I yeah, know people I, don't I, remember, but he got a, a ridiculous offer from Rock Nation. And then he goes on Instagram. 50? Was it Yo, 40? he was so crazy. This kid was so crazy. But I, I could get it. I could get it. You getting offers for crazy amount of millions of dollars from Rock Nation. Then... HBO for them like a six fight deal for like crazy twenty million or something like that, and uh, he goes on Instagram. He's like, "Oh, I want no fuck Jay Z and Rihanna." Well, actually, he said, "Fuck Jay Z, Rihanna. You know what she could do," but he said it graphically, mm. and it's just like, why would you say that? Like, you know, he was a rock star. Like that's all I could say. Like he was living that rock star mentality. I, mean, where I don't give a fuck. And I'm just partying. Literally went on tour. Like, no, he did. He did. And you Band know what? Camp. You Do you remember, remember Band his? Camp? Did you watch his YouTube channel? Of course. It was so entertaining. Yeah. Of he course. did great work. Whoever his guys were, they were really good editors and they captured him very well. You know, um, I was always looking forward to those episodes. And they were doing amazing numbers. Back then, Broner was doing quarter million, half a million on his episodes. That's mm -hmm. crazy. These dudes ain't even doing that now on their own YouTube. Everybody got a YouTube channel. Everybody got one now. And they can't do that. I'm telling you, man. Broner, the problem was probably that he was also hard to manage. Like, maybe if they wanted to guide him in a certain direction, they couldn't because he was so undisciplined. Like, he should have been a 35-pounder career. Career 35-pounder. Just stay disciplined. Work, work, work. Look at Jamel Herring. He's fucking 34 years old at 35. You know what I'm saying? You had all this talent. At 35, man, shh. That boy was insane. I was live at a DeMarco fight in AC. And a Gavin Reeves. I mean. He could fight, fight. He could fight at 35, bro. Even Emmanuel Teller, man. He hit him with that long uppercut. That shit looked so wide. And he still laid that his That was at 40, though, wasn't it? I don't know. It was in Cincy, though. That shit was a movie yeah, I in remember, Cincinnati, I remember too. that fight. I yeah. think, I think uh, Young Gunner got punched in the face. Like I'm telling you, boxing gave me so many memories. Young Gunner from Cin Philly. Hell no. Young guy ain't from Philly. Or maybe I'm calling him saying his name wrong. Um Young Thug. Yeah. Then he get Young punched thug. in the face of Sissy. <laughs> <laughs> bro, he walked bro down and they stole him, bro. People disrespectful, man. They stole off. They him. stole him. Damn. Hey, free that man. Free that man, young it's thug. Fucked up, bro. It's now. like, yo, I'm out here for the for him. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, man. Mm. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. This fan got me a little cold. You a little nippity? I mean, it's pointed only at you. Yeah, why it ain't rotating, bro? That's why I brought my jacket. Yeah, yes, I'm like, I'm going to have to bring my know. sweater in. Having God damn I mean, it. they, they want... Right in yo, here. this room is big. It's like 14 by 20-something. Cut it off. And they be wanting it off. No air circulating. Like, yes, we got our own... Again... Shout no, out to Patrick Oates. On 73. You want it on let 68. Me just, let me just say that. You know, shout out to God. Shout out to Patrick Oates and Fight Stars. Because uh, I do appreciate all those little things. Like, we got our own AC unit. Like, literally, our own climate control for this one studio. Which, in itself, is expensive. You know, anybody that does... Keem, shout out to Keem. You do ACs, you know... You know, we got like a that shit looked like a five ton because we on the roof smoking. That that motherfucker definitely looked like a five ton. Bro, I tried counting the ACs on the roof one day. No, I, too many. I lost count, bro. Mm -hmm. I get tired. I couldn't keep up. You get tired. If you ever worked there like a Taco Bell or McDonald's somewhere like that, and you know all the food is stored in that big freezer. That's what Nets like to have the temperature like in here. It's like walking in the freezer at your Taco Bell or well. It's so funny that from this studio, well, from Sticky Paws to this studio, I've gone from <laughs> the one that's always cold to the one that likes it cold, which is not true. I mm -hmm. I only asked for it to get out 68 one time. Other than that, I'm a 74, 72 type of dude. But Bo 
<laughs> had the shit at 80 and 78. I would never put it at 80. Man, you know it was at 80 that day. I'm 80, like, yo, you not even I got up on. myself and turned it down. Like, yo, who got it at 80? The shit said no, 80. No, we remember we walked in here and it was at 8. It was that high, though. You are right about the number, but. Bo probably said it before we walked in. Man, yeah. he turned that shit off. Yeah, <laughs> I, turned it, I turned it off before I said it at 80. Yeah, or 70 wild, Didn't man. get the 80 on his own. Yeah. We Shout do. out to Danny Garcia that sent me and Danny. Uh, ring walk Danny that is but we talking about Danny Garcia this fight in January 30th Saturday he sent us two July 30th yeah what he said he sent us two well one each um, tracksuit the tracksuit well, no no it's like a uh, a shirt and short set I seen mine and I feel like I need sneak specific sneakers for those it's like so much going on it's either sneakers or flip fly I feel like that's pool attire really Mm. That'll be good for the sh Michael Sartain. Uh, party on. Yo, he, you know he asked us again to be judges like the following week. I'm like, bro, I'm super I, busy. I seen a post where it was like the girls that was up there. And it's I funny. I hearted it, and, but I didn't realize it was my page. Does. It was the Boxing Boys page, so my bad. Bro, that's all he does. Uh, he literally only posts about women. It's crazy. But you remember you asked him could he get some different flavors up there. And he he actually had some flavors up there that day. That's why I liked it. Uh, we got Twitter Fingers Vega on the line. Okay. It literally says Twitter Fingers Vega too. So because you changed it, because you changed his name, so he showed you that he could rock it, with whatever you call him. Let oh, okay. the little okay. fish I did go, call him so that we can catch the big fish later. Mm -hmm. I'm the big dog at, at the Worldweight Division. WBC and IBF Welterweight Champion of the World. Way better fighting Terrence Crawford. TheBoxingBoys.com. Be in Terrence Crawford this side of the street. We cleaning our side of the street. Then we come and have the Crawford. 640 or 730, wherever we get. Say something now. Say something now. Big Fish Vega. Big Fish Mafia. It ain't a movement. It's a lifestyle. SDS promotion. Good morning. Can you hear me? What up, Vega? Let me do some uh, live uh, tech stuff here. So you heard your intro, right? Yeah, it sounds weird, though. Like, I can barely make it out. I can't really hear the music. Really? Um, so, All right. yeah, yeah, it sounds a bit off, but uh, no worries. Uh, no, no, no. We're scheduled to have the engineer back in here. These are little, you know, details that we need to know to, 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 to give them the, that information to tweak things. So man, I know Bo's doing the best he can, man. So a lot of appreciation from him, man. And uh, yeah, I caught some of those Danny videos. So appreciate Ringwalk going out there and uh, getting that content, man. Because uh, I'm excited it, for the fight this weekend. Yes, sir. Um, in regards to the topic, oh, man, when y'all said $30, man, it kind of threw me off. That is uh, a bit much for this card. Um, but I, uh, C-Dub kind of alluded to it earlier. I could see the winner of this getting a big fight, such as a, a Ryan and Tank, because I don't believe they're going to fight each other next. Uh, also, uh, Bo and I were having a discussion. Which card do y'all think is a better or bigger card? Uh, the Adrian Bronner card that has uh, Puyo and uh, fighting uh, that one dude. I forgot his name. The one that lost to Barrios. And uh, uh, what's the co-main? Uh, Hector uh, Garcia versus yeah, Hector Luis Roger Garcia. Gutierrez. Yeah, or yep. this uh, farmer, this farmer Bay card, because I I said the Bronner card for sure. You said you no, know, just then you said bigger. Obviously, the Bronner is bigger. Okay, which one the I prefer? Better. To, the better. The okay, one I better. prefer to see, which would be better in my opinion, would be Mickey Bay, Tevin Farmer, Truck Simpson, Tremaine Williams. I'd rather see that. I don't understand how that'd be better when. It's a 140, it's a, what is it? It's a 130 belt, which could be the winner could face, uh, you know, Shakur Stevenson in the future, possibly. Possibly. Uh, and then you the other one's a 140 and belt. Possibly, which that could, ain't reality. Which, you said, one, <laughs> I think you were one of the guys saying that 140 <laughs> is uh, one of the deepest or deepest uh, divisions with uh, with elite Matias and all those dudes. <laughs> we got a lot better Woo! matchups than Trump Let's simply go. beating some dude that yeah. can barely be the guy at 435. So we're gonna see what Danny thinks. What you think, Danny? No, I mean I think that uh I like both cards. I just think that Broner card is a better card. You got mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like belts on the line. 
Yeah. You know, I, I, it's just hard to argue different. Mm. Mm. Shout out to Truck. I hope you heard that, Truck. Danny don't want to see you fight, bro. I want to see you fight, though. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Lastly, put, uh, y'all putting words. What, in my do you mind. guys know what's going on with Shakur fighting on a Friday? Is there like a specific reason? Um, hometown fight, baby. Nah, they need nah, that stadium. Nah, nah. Um, more than likely guaranteed that it was just a TV thing because it's college football season. ESPN got the. Mm. Games going, so it was probably just a TV thing. So your assumption is better than mine's, cause you you assuming too. I'm just saying it could be the venue. Uh, I mean the venue's main use is hockey, which wouldn't be in season. So, I oh just, yeah, so I, they don't have a team of motherfuckers selling real estate there, trying to make sure. That, no, of course, you know I'm just what saying, saying that I'm shit going is filled with a more they realistic. They got a calendar, easier. Danny. You know, to understand whatever. more realistic options, whatever. but whatever it is, whatever. You know, whatever. You bro. just hating. Yeah. Whatever, bro. Uh, all right, man. Well, I appreciate y'all, man. I'll catch y'all the next one. All right, appreciate you, fam. Right, Chris chat. Carson said it was Rich Homie Quan that got snuck mm. at the fight, not Young Thug. Okay. Mm. That was my man, Rich Homie Quan. You know, he had some some little hitters. He did till he came out with the dreads with colors in it and no shirt on and was like hunching the air on stage and everything went down. Oh, it's pretty Hunching heavy. the air? What the fuck is hunching? Bruh, where you doing a humping motion. Okay. What the hell? Exactly. He said That's hunching what, the air. He was hunching the air, man. <laughs> All his credibility went out the window. He ain't been back since. All right, all right, all right. All righty then. If you want to join us, uh, you can do so by joining us on Discord. Bo, you might want to send me that link. I usually save it for myself every morning, but I didn't this time. We did we get the, to to the uh, twenty dollar super chat? Hell um, no, we ain't know nobody. You ain't tell us nobody who sent a twenty. Scary nickname with the twenty dollars super chat saying what? Kenichi Bear, which you've already been entered. Yeah. But now we'll get to spin the wheel for other possible prizes in the raffle. Yeah, Kenichi Bear. Yo, um, all right, all right. Uh oh. So we've officially entered into a new partnership with. Fraqua water bottle. Um, I actually got mine's in my bag. I hope I did not take it out. Bow. Oh, Danny, Danny, I was telling my girl how you Bow. drink with yours every day. You like transfer your water into there and you're like using it every day. How much, how many RX bottles of water can you fit in there? I don't know. I just, um, I use it like just during workouts. Mm. You know, during the workouts. I need to do something like that. I got to see how many hour eggs waters fit in there so then I know because, you know, it's good to have that gallon a day. I used mm. to drink more water in Florida. Uh, I've been drinking less and less because of this thermal. It's really the thermal. It keeps the coffee long so long that I'm drinking coffee throughout the whole show versus drink your coffee because it's getting cold in your mug. Then you got like three bottles of water during the show. You know what I mean? But I got to get back to drinking more aguas. You know what I mean? But yeah, shout out to Fraqua. Uh, let me see if I can pull up their IG and uh, give you guys a little bit of information on them. Absolutely. Definitely a great product to have when you're... In How easy has it been for you? Now, um, with the gloves, definitely easy to pick up. You know, you put the bottle straight to your mouth, drink out of like you would any other bottle of water. So obviously that's easy um, in that aspect. And for me, it was just, I was happy to not have to pick up a bottle of water and try to open it with my mouth. And now I'm spilling or water. Or with the gloves. Or with the glove. Now I'm spilling water in the, you know, on the canvas. And it, you know, it would just get messy. So having the Frockwa bottle, just scoop it up with my glove like this. And then... Mm -hmm. And you know, I just spilled mm -hmm. a couple drops, but it's less than what it would have been. Wait, you spit? Wait, so it leaks? Nah, I, but I spilled a, a couple drops. So I was you just was about to. I was, was about to scare me, bro. Nah, nah, nah. Because if it so leaks, the, that's not a are good. Are you gonna thing. spin the wheel? Or? 
Oh, I was actually, I, uh, let me finish. I'm actually setting up the Zoom on the calendar. Blue Wire sent me the Zoom link for uh, our uh, 1130 meeting Thursday. So I just want to put that in the calendar and do uh, that. Cool, cool, cool. Even though I sent sent it to you, but, you know. Yeah, but we don't have a calendar invite with the link. I like to, you know, in case for whatever reason I'm not here. Uh-huh. All right. I could do it on the road because well, I got the well, app. In the meantime. Do you got the app? We got uh, New York Bullet, Porter Made 144. Porter Made 144. But they, they can't. Bro, I was there, bro. Like, I literally... I literally did what we're doing right now. Right now, what we're doing is an all-inclusive. You know, you get your flight and your hotel paid, and I fly you out. You know, TBV flies you out to Las Vegas. You watch the fight with us. What we did that day, which was Almanac, because you went, that was your first fight. June 20th, 2015. June 20th, 2015 is we flew out the winner and promised that he could meet Sean Porter because we knew Porter was winning. And we had a relationship with Porter. And did I say we knew he was winning? So we knew he would be in good spirits and be willing to meet our raffle winner. And uh, that's what we did then. That was what year? 14? 15. 15, that's seven years ago. Damn, just like the appreciation night. I had all those wonderful ideas in 2015, huh? Got to bring them back, bring them back. Look, people even want me to bring Border Wars back. We was actually talking to someone yesterday, but damn, that venue sounds expensive. They want 10 racks for that. I don't think this is worth it. What you think? Yeah, not no 10. I didn't think it was worth it either. Especially with all the shit they was talking about, the concerns that, hell no. Nah. Mm-hmm. Hell no. Nah. You know, but it is what it is. Shout out to Jimmy, so, uh, who already made our thumbnail about 30 minutes ago. Did you finish your calendar invite? Yeah. So you could spin a wheel now? Is that what we're chat? doing? I mean, but this is, listen, this is why it's always good to have a co-host and a co-pilot. Champ, you ain't got to explain. It's Just always, spin wheel. It, 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 you, you know? never miss anything. Y'all you know y'all I mean? be explaining yourself too much. Oh, spinning the wheel. I don't know who you mean when you say y'all. You, you, you two. You, you the main two. one. I ain't you even two. in you the main one. You two. Uh-oh. You the main one. Canelo, Triple G, Look. giveaway. Oh, shit. So for what? $55 more, you could be entered into that raffle. Be flown out. Flight be flown out. out uh, hotel included. Watch the fight with us. Over $1,500 worth of you know, value because we will be paying for your flight. No stops, none of that funny business. Nice little hotel. Plus, you get to watch the pay-per-view with us right here in our studio. And this ain't no just studio. This is a facility, fully loaded, state-of-the-art facility. This is the Peter Lick building. Look it up. I mean, there's nothing like it. You say it and people like, oh, you know, their neck breaks. You want to be here. You want to see this. Believe me. Plus, I got the boxing bar mm, in the gym for you to hit. The venom ropes for you to jump off of. You know what I mean? Well, this ain't wrestling, but, you know, you can lean off of them. You know what I mean? Get your, get your little shadow box in. You know what I mean? Beginning of the show, we was asked. What were we asked? Why did we cancel on title yesterday? Why'd we cancel? Bo went answered. In. Bo goes into like a twenty minute thing. All he had to say, yeah, our guest flight was canceled. True. He's like, now see the, what happened was it rained for the first time in Las Vegas in thirty years, and so most of the water was retained at the Hoover Dam, <laughs> right? So because it was retained at the Hoover Dam, it held up the flights out of LAX. So then what? I'm like, bro, her flight was canceled. You know. Uh, but, maybe you just what, what be, maybe I, you're just what Hispanics call seco. And you're yeah, you know sick. I'm dry. Yeah. You're, you're just dry. Nah. Like some people like to explain because they feel that people deserve explanations and they feel also that it is I don't know um you know kind of like a uh sign of respect maybe. No. Not on, not only that but like uh like look I was late so 
you know, the explanation is serves as not an excuse, but as a apology. You know mm. what I mean? Uh, but yeah, whatever. All right, now nice. shout out to you. Shout out to Bo. Um, to my man's and um, uh, who was that? Scary nickname. So, if you are interested in that Vegas raffle to come out, join us. Mexican Independence Weekend for Canelo Triple G3 here in Vegas. We'll fly you out, get your room, kick it with us the whole weekend. Let's say you are interested and you don't want to, or you can't send all $55 in. Mm -hmm. Cool. Communicate with us. Mm -hmm. Let us know when you can, and then, you know, we'll figure something out. Mm -hmm. You got to communicate, though. Yeah. Not on the chat. Mm hmm. The for for all you dads out there, let me put an idea in your mind, right? Like you you spend a little seventy five dollars for your raffle. All of a sudden, you won this fifteen hundred dollar value. You know, now you can fly your kids out. You know what I'm saying? Set up some spawn or something out here. A lot of a lot of little kids out here. A lot of little what was it? Carmel Motons out here. You sure. know what I'm saying? Absolutely. You ain't no look. That's the that's a grown man right there. Yeah, I know. I seen him. I seen him. Yeah, I'm then, just but you know what I'm saying. If you want a, a one level under that, we got Amanaza, a little head buster, right around the corner. Nah, those those dudes are elite amateurs. I'm gonna be real. Uh, but there's a lot of work out here, and and, and, and we can set some things up, man. Cause uh, it's gonna be an entire fight weekend. There'll be people out here like never before because of the boxing fan expo. Shout out to my boy Alonzo. Let me text Alonzo. That's what happened. I email. Need to text Alonzo. Okay. Nope, not 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 Butler. All right, champ. <laughs> what? Nothing. You just you know randomly like, oh, let me do this. I mean, yo, they part of my family, yo. I hear you. Why you always get so angry, bro? Huh? You never did anything bad. Anything bad. Mm-hmm. Sure. Sure, I've done bad things. What was what was the one thing you did bad in boxing? Look how I twisted up. Um, let's see, I guess it just depends who you ask. I'm asking you. Ain't no man you ain't asking um, nobody else. I mean, what do you mean something bad I've done in boxing? I don't know. What you done bad in boxing, bro? Why are you making it harder than what it is? You could easily said nothing and kept it moving. Shit, I mean, I done fucked interviews up before, so hmm. I guess you could say that's bad. It ain't good, so it must be bad, right? Did you drop the mic at uh, the Mayweather induction or whatever it was the other day? Nah. You broke the mic stand or something that like that? That wasn't him. That wasn't him. Oh, somebody bumped it out of your hand. Yeah. That was one of the Floyd Mayweather security. Nah, that I mean, was, uh, camera guys, right? Yeah, but no, nah, I mean, that shit, shit was over by then. That ain't like, even even if it wasn't like, that ain't something bad. Like, you know, when I think of something bad, something that affect the, the you know, what I'm doing, my, my job, my work. Yo, my man's just out here wild in the day. <laughs> Yo, but make sure to tune in tonight as we will be going live right, so exclusively here from the I'm Fight live. Stars facility at 645 oh. Pacific. My man's just wild. Bro, that's Boxing Fan Expo. I'm trying to make sure uh, we connect. You act like that's Bill Haney or something. What? Dog. Everybody, see, that's what it is. I'm different, man. Big, little, small, interview okay. them all. Big, little, small, everybody's important. I don't judge people off the, the height, man. Answer my call, then. Everybody important, answer my call. Yo, Danny, what up? Yo, man, I can't talk. I'm on the show, champ. Oh, all right. All right. Hit you back. <laughs> you is hilarious, bro. What? <laughs> oh, man, we out, man. 645... Pacific tonight, right yeah, here. Yeah, we're going to do another the show. Fight Star Facility see, see that? in see Las that? Vegas, Nevada. We will have Hasin Rockman You made Jr. me hang up on my man Make to end the show right now. I could have just stood on the phone with my man. Why man. so serious? What's going on? Go to Ooh, him, they dropped that shit 30 stacks. Shit was ugly anyway. Listen, uh, remember, we don't... Oh, we got a call. Why so serious? Jonathan Sims. Listen, we don't normally go live today, Tuesday, but we are because... 
from our facility, Haseen Rockman, who's going to be taking on Jake Paul, will be live doing a media workout, and we want to bring it to you live right here. So join us at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Damn, that's late over there, right? That's 10 o'clock for On them. the East, yeah, that's crazy. That's 10 o'clock for you guys on the East. You might be sleeping, shit. I, I feel you. I'm old. I'll be going to sleep. Jonathan Sims. What up? Jonathan Sims. What up? Why so serious? Yes, sir. What's good, It never be too serious, man. Danny, uh, Danny, um, way so too Good serious. morning to y'all. Um, thanks for having the show. And, uh, you know, you guys do a great job, I must say. One thing I wanted to ask is, you know, Ness, we talked about yesterday, boss boxers. You know, would it hurt to kind of have a discussion about who we rank and that boss status versus slightly below versus still on the come up? Just to kind of give the fans an idea of what we literally or legitimately consider bosses. Because I thought CYP followed up with a really good point saying like if you make the most then it trickles down from there so i, I thought that was a pretty good take on that and Man, maybe we could hell no because at the end of the day first of all someone always pays someone and, don't matter what boss you are and, somebody kind of and, and not just that that's you know that's borderline like borderline on some uh you know pocket watching clout Ranking, you that's a part saying? of the sport though danny we watch athletes pockets all the time in yeah, nfl but, nba we much everybody makes yeah but you know there's like a highest paid athletes list but uh you talking about like a boss's list like what basically we're saying okay canelo he's a boxer that's a boss he can get any fight he want the network will put up the money whenever he wants to fight anybody terrence bud crawford He's not a boxer, boxer boss. He's limited in what the amount of money they're the willing problem. to put see, up for him see, to fight. But see, Agent. like, well, motherfuckers making assumptions. If, if the network would have put up the money, then why why was it, like, why was it, why was they tripping on who the fuck he was fighting? They they were so adamant on that Triple G. Like, so it ain't really like that. You get what I'm saying? I don't know. That's something, uh, personally, me, I would have, like, you know, zero interest because it's all opinionated like it's all okay. opinionated and there's nothing that we can even factually uh back up with that because i feel that we don't really know what these fighters is making bro I've seen, fighters is getting back in checks that never get reported they get in envelopes and, and in, they get in two checks two envelopes in the back call them two chains you know what i'm saying but only one is being like i don't know that's just way too yeah. Well, we we pretty much have a good idea what Canelo and what Wilder makes, and whenever they want to fight, they typically get their fights ex specifically Canelo. I mean, they're putting up fifty, sixty, hundred million for him to fight some of their fighters. So, I mean, sure, but I think it's pretty clear that Canelo's a boss, and whoever he wants to fight, he'll fight. If if Earl said I'll fight Canelo tomorrow, they're gonna make that fight, and Bud would be old news. Hmm. So yeah. I'm just saying, like, I just think I ain't gonna front. I do still want that fight. If like, if they slid that Me in too, before, Me too, Ness. if they slid yes, that in before, yes, it, it made more yes, sense sir. to me. It don't make more yep. sense to do it after because it's like you, if you lose, you know, you yep. ain't really got no shot. So it's like, why are we even watching it? Mm. Yep. And Ness, I ain't even gonna get you riled up about AB, but. Man, you know you on you know that man let his hands go after that Madonna loss. He just got figured out as far as his output. He let his hands go, but niggas just realize if you output more than him, you could beat him. Yeah, I don't know about letting them hands go, but I hear you, man. You know, different uh, opinions is all good. He got a TKO versus Theo Payne and Khabib after his loss to Madonna. Come on, Theo Payne and Khabib, they, they not Madonna. They not on that level. They not Theo on that Payne level, man. Title. Okay. I guess level I mean level of competition matters, but I mean Theo Payne was for a title. He just It's so funny. Weight. Didn't we find out yesterday is Mike formerly his manager or not? No. Oh, he wasn't. That's well, what you Mike found Stafford out. Mike Stafford is still his coach. Say what? Mike Stafford is still his coach. No, no, no. I'm I'm we, I'm sure he is. We we was talking about okay. some we was talking about Ashley Theo fan. Yeah, Ashley Theo fan. Since you brought him up, it made me 
remember something. Well, I thought you had said earlier that he wasn't with Mike Stafford no more. No, 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 no. We wasn't talking about Mike Stafford. Mm-hmm. See, mm-hmm. Oh, okay. no assumptions. Okay. No, we was talking about Mike Leonardi, who managed uh, ba- ba- Badu Jack. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, for many, many. You years. know what that? You know what the problem is? Um, and we were having a discussion. I about think he the using a um, corner thing, store. But, he using them, them them corner store headphones. You need to get you some Kenichi bears, man. Mm. Stop it, man. Stop it. Mm. You got the wrong headset on, man. Get you some Kenichi bear hibernation fives so you can hear us clearly, man. No, no, you, you got, got a lot of background is, too. We don't know. When you coming to Stop Vegas, it. man? You've like been, been talking about he been talking about hanging out I'm, and meeting up with me for like seven years. You even no, I, I, if I remember correctly. If I remember correctly, you even said you wanted a spa and all this shit. Bo, Not me, Bo, but you wanted a spa. Bo, it's been a, it's, Bo, it's, Bo, it's been a minute. You got to cut him. You got to cut him. Bo. Damn, let the man talk. No, no, no. Why? You was you, cutting people you had the a other conversation day. You was cutting people the other day. Because you just had a conversation with him. Why Why wasn't it my turn to have a conversation? You want to cut him. No, Damn. I'm just saying because you was doing that the other day to the callers. Let the man get his talk, you know, man. We interrupted him. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Finish your call, just sir. keep that energy. Damn. Ran him off, Danny. Yeah. Danny don't cut him, man. Bo <laughs> don't cut him too. Yeah, terrible. Bo, was he or was he not doing that the other day? Uh, of course he was. All right, all right. You know, I just want to be fair. I want to be fair because we are fair to everybody. You know. That's mm-hmm. all. Well, since you were being fair, do we got any other super chats or anything else we need to address before we wrap it up? No, just want to remind everybody once again, we will be going live tonight, 645 Pacific, approximately um, 945 Eastern for the Hasim Rockman Jr. media workout in anticipation ahead of his class, Showtime pay-per-view August 6th with Jake Paul live from Madison Square Garden. So tune in tonight. We will be live right here from the studio. He will be training in the gym that's behind us. Um, so Nonito was here yesterday. Yeah. How exciting was that for you nah, coming was, to work yeah. and Nonito's like, yo, and guess what? Guess what this story was, right? This was like, and this is what I'm saying. If you don't like, I'm not saying don't shoot for the stars, but like if you know, having little goals or little wins is so satisfying, right? So someone is telling us yesterday that they're walking uh, Nonito through the building and, and he's like making faces like, oh, okay, it's, it's pretty good. And he was like, yeah, so the boxing voice recorded. He was like, oh, what? The boxing voice is here? Oh, why you didn't say that? And I'm like, get the fuck out of here. He did not say that. And they're like, no, he said that. And I said, get the fuck out of here. He did not say that because that's amazing, bro. Nah, that's that's fucking blessing. amazing. So, so I knock on the glass, right? Because I gotta, I can't just go and show up and announce my. No, I gotta let him see that we got the fucking glass and we can see you. You can see me because, like, that's one of the features. When I came here, and Pat walked me through, I fell in love with that. Like, what? There's gonna be a ring there. Oh my god, you can. And it just was like that. He's shadow by. He, he looks up. He's like, yo. And so I come in. I go around, obviously, and I get to the balcony and I record him. And he's like, guess who's back? <laughs> he starts back singing. Again. He starts yeah, singing he starts Eminem. Singing so it's just uh Jesus. For me, it's it's it's, it's truly a blessing. I want to thank each and every one of you guys that listen every day, every, every single day. And all the new listeners that are there, all the new subscribers, we're trying to get to our goal of a million. We're almost there. We're only at 152,000. So we're just chugging away. We're almost there. At least we're over 10%. Absolutely. That's not bad. We're over 10%. Over 15. There you go. We're at 15%. So, um, yeah, man, I want to thank everybody that tunes in, everybody that allows us to uh, do this each and every day because you guys tune in. And we look to bring you more spontaneous shows like tonight at 7 p.m. because there's going to be all types of things happening from this facility. Again, uh, had we been equipped to go live and show you Nonito there, we would have also showed you. But if you follow us on Instagram, you got to see our story and definitely hear it um, because Nonito was very vocal when he said, guess who's back? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, oh, Raiz Salim was here. Yeah, he pulled Bro, up. Bro, like, they just pulling up. This shit is crazy, for real. Like, I, it's, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And, um, you know, Bo is actually picking up some banners. 
this week. Um, well, actually, today, Bo, d- he didn't hit you up yet? Is it ready? Is he, is he making a timeline? Because we got a timeline, said, obviously. He said he got to be out of here by 9 to pick it up. Okay. Thank you, Danny. Because, obviously, uh, Haseen Rockman is going live today, so we want our banner in the gym. I don't know if they're going to hang it, because I seen them. Yo, it took, like, eight dudes to hang two banners in the gym yesterday, so I, that got me worried. Not from a they-can't-do-it standpoint, but from a standpoint there was eight people and a couple of those dudes was big wigs, so I'm like, damn, are they going? Are they going? Um, what's it called? Uh, allow you? Not allowed, but that's where I'm going. Are they gonna? Uh, what is it when renege? I'm like, are they gonna renege about our banner? Cause they took all the real good real estate too. I'm like, damn, I'm putting my shit above theirs. Then if they took that. Nah, I want to go up. It's, right, there's some good real estate in there. Uh, it's some it's good real take, estate, but that's the best real estate. Ladder, though. That's the best, or, or me, I am the ladder. Because because if you look out, out, of, out of our window, that's where our face should be. Like, why should our face be where the bags are at? Or with a, I don't, you know, that's the window that makes, that's the wall that makes right, sense. Right, right. So I'm hoping that we still rocking. Um, I hope we still get that. Looks like we might have an intern. Shout out to Mac and Cheese, who has a 17-year-old amateur standout nephew that wants to, you know, learn a little bit more about the game. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I tell you guys. Had I had an intern, one of you guys would have met Nonito yesterday. One of you guys would have met Raiz Ale. You know what I mean? Look, Bo came into work the other day, and Danny was like, uh, just just football passed him a whole a whole little snag bag from DSG. And you know, he got some clothes. Like, that's how it is, man. Come get some of this love over here. We need, we need, we need three shifts of interns. No bullshit. Um, but this gym is loaded. The dynasty trains out of here. You know what I'm saying? Fernando, Emiliano. Uh, I gotta take this. All right, champ. Uh, yes, but he was saying Fernando Jr., Amado, Emiliano, obviously Fernando Senior, uh, being the father and trainer of all those gentlemen. So definitely a lot of people uh, in here, and I know that was pretty rude of Ness to have just walked out. He does close on his house today, so uh, you know, big calls, big meetings. Uh, very important things going on, but we were wrapping up nonetheless, and we don't have any callers. We don't have any more super chats. Bo, do you have anything before we do wrap up? Nah, we good. We good. All right, everybody. Well, I am your co-host, Ringwalk Danny, for the host, the founder, the man, the myth, the legend, that's the Gibbs. We are the Boxing Voice. You can find me at Ringwalk Danny on all social media platforms. You can find Nesta Gibbs at NestGTO on Instagram and Twitter, at Nesta Gibbs on YouTube and TikTok. Bo, where can they find you? On IG at Bo Mason underscore TBV. And like I said, we are the Boxing Voice. Tune in tonight right here, youtube.com forward slash the Boxing Voice as we go live for the Haseen Rockman Jr. media workout ahead of his Showtime pay-per-view class on August 6th for Madison Square Garden against Jake Paul. That's right. That will be right here, the media workout that is here from the Fight Stars facility in Las Vegas, Nevada. We are the Boxing Voice, and we're out. Holla. I think you probably got to push a few buttons over there, Dan. Oh, shit. <laughs>